Hi folks, I'm Craig Taylor and as always a huge thanks for joining me here on my YouTube channel The Bushcraft Padawan. In my previous two videos I talked about the different types of knolls that there are. I said there were a handful of knolls. We tend to only use three of them though when it comes to map reading and navigation. And I mentioned that one of those, although I haven't used it a lot myself in the past, is True North. That one of them is Magnetic North and in this video we're going to look at the final, the third and final one of those three knolls that we tend to use when outdoors using a map, compass and navigating. In this video then we're going to turn our attention to Grid North. Before I get into that though I just want to reintroduce the orange, the earth to you. There's the earth, there's the equator running around the centre. The chopstick is representing true north, sometimes called geographic north. It's, it's the North Pole. You can see the lines of longitude moving up from the equator, I'm only concentrating on the top half of the globe, moving up from the equator and converging on that point there. That's true north. You'll notice a little black, if I can get the angle right, there you go, you notice a little black dot on the surface of the orange. This is representing magnetic north and it's just there for illustrative purposes to show you that magnetic north is in a different place to true north and just a reminder it's moving as well so it's not always in that spot it's actually moving. In this video though I said I wanted to turn my attention to grid north. So let's have a look then at this orange and I'm just going to take my sharpie that I've got here and I'm going to draw something on the orange to illustrate my point here. Back in a sec. I'm back again. You'll notice there in the centre of the screen that I have drawn a square or a rectangle. It, it's, it's a map. Admittedly, it's a bloody large map if you look at the scale of the earth, but it's a map. It's a map that I'm used to using that has straight edges. You'll notice that the lines of longitude actually are not straight. They start to veer in. And clearly, the further north you get, the closer those lines of longitude become. They start to veer in. Now, if you were to design a map that accurately and completely matched the veering in, the converging of those lines of longitude, the edges of your map would not be straight. However, here in the UK, and I'm sure in other parts of the world as well, the edges of the maps are designed straight, meaning that you can have very parallel lines from left to right, from west to east, from top to bottom, from north to south and vice versa, you have these utterly parallel lines that are perpendicular and parallel to one another. That's grid north. I'm just putting up on the screen now a few photographs that people on Facebook have been very kind enough to send me from around the world showing some of the marginal information that is on their maps and you can see different parts of the world you can see that the marginal information about these types of north is shown slightly differently. On that point the next time you pick a map up grab the map look around the marginal information and find out a little bit more about the types of north and as they are indicated shown diagrammatically on the map that you have in front of you. So well and good watching this video Grab one of your own maps, look for that north information, the declination information, the GMA information, whatever you want to call it, should be in the margin of your maps. Have a look at that and start to relate what these videos have been about to your own context. I must admit, the, the grid north, in my experience, is probably the hardest one to get across to people. It's the hardest one to explain. I think true north you can use a chopstick. I think magnetic north, people can wrap their heads around a compass pointing in the direction of something magnetic. I do think that grid north is a harder concept to wrap your head around. Don't just rely on this video. Below this video, I have placed some additional resources that talk about grid north, possibly more lucidly and clearly than I've done. Do feel free to check those out. As always, a huge, huge thank you for taking the time to join me here once again. If you've enjoyed the video, thumbs up. If you think there's someone in your network that would enjoy watching it, 
you know what to do with that share button. And as always, if you're not yet a subscriber, big thank you to those of you that are. Down here in this bottom corner of the screen, click on the icon and you'll magically become a subscriber. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.